Lauhirnin Udalemiriu. Govannas min Gwenimle Alvirolorin. Iayar can ben namar. I mean, it's surreal that there is even an Elvish language, really, isn't it? I mean, it's kind of mad. Here we go now, please, Julie. Thank you. Because Tolkien has invented language, the Elvish language, as well as black speech and Dwarvish, we're there to make sure that the actors get to grips with that. You want to check out Lion Live? You happy with it? You're all right? Yeah, thank you. Here we go, thank you. We have worked very, very hard at uh, making that as authentic as possible, that every time somebody says a name or a place or a language, we're very, very confident that it's exactly how Tolkien would have himself spoken it. And the cut, that was good, that was nice. In the movies we have Elvish, both Sindarin and Quenya is spoken quite extensively with subtitles. During the Rivendell scenes and the Lothlorien scenes, there's plenty of Elvish that's spoken, and uh, so we had to have a lot of cons consultation on that to be accurate. Hi, as I go over my lines, in the barrister. <laughs> Obviously we started with uh, Tolkien's instructions as to um, how these words should be spoken and how the languages work. We have two full-time dialogue coaches who have been on the film since the first day. They regularly have time with the actors where they train the actors and how to speak the languages that need to be spoken. There is a tendency when you get a line of a foreign language that you don't understand um, and you, know, you only know the sounds, you impose your own intonation pattern or your own tune onto that sentence. And that's why we've always had to say to the actor, well, you know, you're the actor, you in the end have to decide which words are important for you, but this is what they mean. At first that was so terrifying to me, but for some reason I've been able to pick it up really easily and really comfortably in a way that it just kind of rolls off my tongue. If you know what it is you're saying, you say it as conversationally, then all of a sudden you're sucked into this other world. Going south? One of the things that Tolkien says in the book is that they're speaking and their singing voices sound like bells time and they're just supposedly really magical and beautiful and it, it really does sound that way when you speak it. Tolkien's connection with language goes right back into his childhood. He was making new languages even as, as a small child and obviously from that he made the people to go with them but the languages came first and I, it's the power of communication is, is such an extraordinary thing. It is, it is the only thing that makes us different from the other inhabitants of our planet. And I think the difference in languages says everything about the difference in cultures. And I think that was probably what fascinated him, the sound of words and, and how they differed from culture to culture. And all those ancient languages that he studied encoded within them an entire society.